Are you threatened by your partner's success? Nah, eat. Please eat. That, that's how I feel. Eat and also. treat me nice. That's <laughs> come on, man. What? Should I got the bag? What you want? <laughs> what you trying to eat? Treat me nice. Yeah, whatever. Equal rights. It says go crazy. How do you manage your own internal responses? Uh, for example, emotions when your wife just told you that she's been promoted and is now at a higher position and pay grade than you. How do I contain myself? <laughs> <laughs> that should be the question. <laughs> One step closer to being a stay-at-home dad. <laughs> kid, are you kidding me? <laughs> what? Uh, so it says, like, are you looking to grow from within or are you comparing yourself to her or others and making yourself feel worse in the process? Are you able to be supportive and encouraging regardless of her success? Or are you taking out your frustrations and anger on her by denigrating her accomplishments just to make yourself feel better? I, I listen. If I'm with somebody eat. and they and they eating, I am. I love when you eat. I am on the sidelines like a fucking Go. cheerleader with pom poms. Do your she thing. She said what? Do your thing. Ask her for six figures. You got promoted. Dope. Let's go have dinner and wine to celebrate. What? Let's do all of that shit. I don't feel like this has ever been an issue for me. Honestly, never. I feel like Man. all the other stuff we talked about, yeah, issues. But on the flip side, like we're we're different dudes, and there's people, there's guys out there who are very insecure about where they are in life and where they're what they're doing, what they're accomplishing. So somebody who is doing better than them will make them feel very small, very insecure. So I get that, um, but I can't. I don't know how to. I don't. I can't. I'm not a professional in that perspective. I can't speak from hate. Like if my girl gets a raise, I'm hype. I'm hype. And any and if it anything, is lit. We're going on vacation. And if. It- <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's wrong with this? And, <laughs> and if anything is probably pushing me to do more. And that's and that's how it should that's go. That's it. And that's part of the partnership. That's part of the team thing. Yeah. Yo, show you got you got a raise? Alright. These niggas is playing with me. I gotta I gotta get on my shit, right? You know what I'm saying? Cause like at the end of the day, like Hoopers know, sports people know, like, yeah, you got a bucket. I'm getting the bucket back. Yeah. You got a raise? I gotta get promoted. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go six. And do I gotta something. make six. Yeah. I gotta hold my own. And that's, but like, that's just some people. Again, there's other people out there who are like, you're making six. So, oh, I suck. Yeah, you know I mean, like, I don't, mm-hmm. know, I don't understand why you like that, but. That was that, um, you seen an episode of Martin where uh, he was, where Gina got a promotion at her job and she started making more money than he was making at the radio station. And then people started calling into the radio station and being yeah. like, I heard yeah. your woman's taking care of you. I heard your woman makes more makes more than you. Yeah, it was getting on, man. And then they went out for dinner, and people were like handing him donations <laughs> as he's at dinner with Gina. I, I don't, I, I don't think I could ever be that guy who's who's with somebody and they're doing great and like all the success is coming their way, and I'm just like, it's it's a we nah, thing. Nah, don't do that. We doing great, especially if you're in that partnership and they're making you feel like you like you said like like we're on a team. You know what I'm saying? If it's not a, a thing that's where... That's a team win. Now, it's one thing if you win the lotto and you leave me and go like move to, move to like, you know, Hawaii or some shit yeah. like that. But if you win the lotto and like we're just like good and chilling and we got a great partnership, I'm I'm over the moon happy for you. Love it. Absolutely. Love it. C- conversations about intimacy. Ooh. Um, Ooh. That is something, man, that you have to just both get into a place where you're comfortable um, receiving... Mm-hmm. Uh, feedback um, and giving feedback. I'm very comfortable and receiving. It's are you? Wait, yes. Receiving feedback or keep going. It was a failed <laughs> attempt. Keep going. <laughs> you <were freak laughs> keep going. Freak man. You think it's gradual? I think. I think. I mean, hey, listen. There's some people like, based on personalities, right? So there's people who are very uh, blunt and straightforward and dope. And then there's other people. You have to know your personnel. Can the per- Can I deliver this in a loving and Receptive way. Can you re- can you receive this uh-huh. in the same way I'm, re- I'm I'm delivering it? Those are those are those are key things to know. I think conversations about intimacy are very very needed, important. important, challenging. They're um, challenging. They are challenging. I, felt, I know I haven't had a lot of them in relationships. Yeah, that no, I've no. In. I've I've only had like one in my current one, and like that was like I was like I had to learn how to receive. Feedback and it yeah. wasn't even crazy. Like it was never crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it, like, but like also just be able to receive feedback and be like not offended and not receive from that same place of like yeah. she's coming for me. It's like nah, like we're a team and she wants me to do better. That's it. I, I think it's 
I think it's really important. Um, as I've gotten older, I've realized that it's really important because in the um, in the relationships I've been in that the conversations have happened, like it's been dope. And the conversations I've been in where it hasn't happened, then sometimes like, I don't know, like as a young guy, like as a 21 year old guy, as like a 22 year old guy, don't you don't that. really have that. Yeah, no. it's, it's really tough to like nah, hear this that. Is, this, is, this is for that old or even express sexy, that. Man. Yeah. Old grown yeah. And sexy. At 21, 22, don't tell me what I'm, yo. Know, I might not even see you tomorrow, shorty. Like, but it should. Wow. 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 But it should. No, it, but the com, a, the com, we need to change the narrative on that. Because like, just because like we fucked up uh, as, as, as 21 year olds, <laughs> like as a 21 year old, like you should be more responsible. You should be responsible and be aware of like what your partner likes. No, I was thinking about that. And I, that's why I can't wait to have a son because we can, I can just tell him how to do it right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just tell like he and he can do whatever he wants, but I'm a, at least I'll like at least I'll get this good information that I have and I'll spit it out and like that'd be like me like my good deed to the universe. But it's different for every woman though. Every woman likes likes different stuff. No, for sure. But I'm gonna just I'm gonna coach him on how to get through. You're gonna give him like the fundamentals. Yeah, he gonna be able. To, he gonna <laughs> he gonna play every position. He's gonna be so versatile in in all five positions. Oh man! All right. <laughs>